guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is finally time for my February Boxy Charm. This month's box is really, really, really good. So I'm really excited to put everything on, try it out. I got this box on Tuesday. Uh, today is Thursday, so it is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Um, and I was going to film it on Wednesday, but I was feeling like crap yesterday. So I'm going to be filming it today. I still have a phone, so please bear with me. Um, anyway, I'm really excited for this month's box. It's a really, really good box. I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, the first item is the Touch and Soul No Form Plum Primer. It is a full glass model of primer. It has 1.01 fluid ounces or 30 ml. Let me read about it. I was really excited when I saw this in my box because I see that so many people use this primer and I think it's crazy that Charm is doing this for $21 for five to six items every month. Um, and they're really, really, really good products. So let me go ahead and read it. It says, create a seamless canvas for your foundation with your new Touch Insole No Pore Blum Primer. This is like, um, problem, not pore blum, because it fills in your pores. Um, so it's like a play on words. But here's the thing. As you guys know, I don't really have visible pores at all. Like, I don't have any. So, um, I'm hoping that maybe it'll give me like a really smooth canvas. And, um, I'll still be able to notice a smoothing effect from it. Um, it says, The light, silky texture, blurs pores and wrinkles, giving your skin a soft, velvet feel. Green tea and collagen act as adhesives, holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. Okay, so I'm hoping that, um, I'll still like it and get some good use out of it even though I don't have pores to fill in. So I'm not going to be able to test that aspect of the product for you guys, but um, I will be able to tell you what else it does. Um, and this retails for $18. And it's in a really nice glass bottle. It has um, a blown glass. Isn't that what it's called? Blown glass. Um, it sort of has that soft look to it. And here's the lid. It has a pump. I know a lot of people love um, whenever products have a pump on them. I personally prefer a uh, squeezy too, but that's just me. I'm gonna pump a little on the back of my hand. Okay, so it looks like it's really light pink color. And I'm not sure how much I'll need. I'm just gonna take this flat brush from Sunset Lord Beauty and I'm mainly going to put this under my eyes so that it'll be really smooth. I'm going to put it on the center part of my face. Ooh, it smells, um, kind of perfumey. Like, like a perfume, a straight up perfume. But it isn't too strong. So I feel like even people that uh, don't like a lot of scents, um, I feel like you won't really hate it. It, it is a really nice scent. Like, I would wear this perfume. I'm not noticing my skin feeling any different. Like, when I put a moisturizer on, I feel hydrated and um, kind of cooled on my face. Like, with a lot of primers, there'll be a cooling sensation. But uh, this doesn't have that. doesn't really feel like anything on my face. I just feel... Okay, it feels really smooth. Obviously, my face doesn't look any different because it's in a primer, but I think I'm going to like it. I'm not sure if putting a moisturizer underneath this would affect the outcome of, you know, the smoothness. But, um, I feel like I do need a moisturizer still. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible. 
Rose Lowe Foundation. You guys know this is one of my favorite foundations ever. But lately, I've been using a different one. Um, I am definitely behind. I was going to make a December favorite video, and then I didn't do it in time, so I just didn't. Then I was going to make a January favorite video, and I was also too late for that. So, um, hopefully I can do one for February favorites. I'll probably just do a, like, um, a video where I talk about my recent beauty favorites, and I'm not going to, like, tie it to one month, because I have a lot of things, uh, a lot of favorites to talk about. Anyway, I've been trying a new foundation, and since I've been using the new one, uh, this L'Oreal foundation is not my favorite anymore. But, uh, you know, it's not like a bad foundation. It's just not as pretty as the one I'm using now, or the one I've been using lately. And by the way, I'm using a Focalore brush again. Uh, they don't have numbers or names on the brushes, so I don't really know how to how to talk about them, other than saying it's just a Focalore brush. But I really like these uh, brushes. They're really soft and they blend out everything really well. I got the 10 piece brush set and I, I want it in a giveaway. So I really like the brush set. A lot of the brushes in the brush set really surprised me. Like, like I didn't think I was going to be able to use all of them. Or I just didn't really think I would reach for them that much. But I've been using these brushes so much. Comment down below what you got for Valentine's Day. I'll show you in a minute an item that I got um, for Valentine's Day. And no, I don't have a Valentine that gives me anything. Um, my Valentine is my dad. Um, also, my dad's mom. They always do the Valentine stuff. I feel like this foundation, I used to think it had so much coverage. And now, I just, I don't see it. Where is it at? Where did you go? Where'd you go? And now I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So far, everything looks pretty good. I haven't been wearing this foundation as much, like I said. So, I'm wearing this concealer a lot lately. So, I'll tell you if the foundation makes it look... I mean, if the primer makes the concealer look any different than it usually does. And I look really sick. Like, I don't know if you can tell. I just feel like I look so sick. I don't even feel that bad today. But, I don't look very good. I'm going to use that same brush I used for my foundation. And it's going to blend out that concealer. So far, the concealer looks good. I mean, I don't notice a huge, huge difference, but... It does look good. Okay, so there we have the base. I think it looks pretty good. Clean up, clean up. And now I'm taking my big fluffy brush. And I'm using my setting powder from uh, Pretty Vulgar. I got this in my December uh, Foxy Charm. And this is like my favorite powder now. It is really, really good. It just completely mattifies and gives you a really soft matte velvety look. And the packaging is really nice. Like, you don't get a, a mess of powder everywhere. It's really good. I'm not worried about setting my face too much because it is literally, I don't even know what time it is. Um, it's like after dinner time. Okay, now I'm going to pop on some blush and bronzer. Real quick, I'm going to do my Finishing Formula Summer Eclipse Bronzing and Shimmery Face Powder. I've never seen this in a store. I've never seen this anyone talk about this. But I love this bronzer. Normally everyone talks about their powder bronzers, which are really good. But, um, I don't know. I love this bronzer. Like, look how pretty it is. It's just so nice. I don't know where I got this bronzer. My sister gave it to me, but I'm not sure where she got it. Okay, so we are all bronzed. Now it's time for blush. I'm going to be using my 
Magari Effect var. En iyi şey yanlı melosa. Okay, so the second item I got in the box is this Pretty Bomber Shimmering Swan Highlighter. And let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. Um, it looks like a picture frame, kind of. It's really pretty packaging. Let me read about it. Allow your skin to capture the light of any room you walk into with this unique velvety smooth highlighter. Infused in glow loving, light reflecting, and pearlescent pigments, this highlighter will give your skin the perfect amount of brightness. This is a $32 highlight. And let me tell you once again, the box is $21 and you get five to six items. Um, so this is the Shimmering Swan Highlight in the shade Sparkling Sass. So I really like the packaging. It does feel lightweight, like it doesn't feel like expensive packaging. It don't look expensive, but it feels a little bit uh kinda cheap if I'm being honest. But that's not a big jailbreaker for me or anything like that. Um my I can't open the packaging. Just wanna know that. I know I always let you know if I can open it or not. Um a lot of people don't really mention if they can open it, but then they can open it. Most people can open everything, but I always mention it just in case there's anyone else out there who maybe can't open everything. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer brush, and I've been using this for highlight. And I'm just going to tap in there four times. And this color is like a golden champagne color. But it's kind of unique, like, I don't have any other highlight that's exactly in this color. Ooh, ooh, that is so pretty. It's a really golden, really golden highlight. Really, really, really pretty. Okay, and that's the highlight. I really like it. So, for the primer, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I mean, okay, okay, okay. My concealer looks pretty good. So, I'm going to give a 4 out of 5. Because I can't really test it very well. And the highlight, I'm going to give a 5 out of 5. I mean, it is really, really pretty. And I think it will suit a lot of different skin tones. So, that's probably why they put it in the box. But it's really pretty, and they put a $32 highlight in the box. Can't believe they did that. Okay, on to the next item. Wait, okay, okay, I forgot to mention this item at the beginning, because it's not a makeup item. I don't know, hold on, let me read off the card. This is the Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cabana Cream. Um, so it is a $20 body cream stuff. It smells like coconut cupcake. It smells really, really good. My mom got the mini one, but it's a, a bum bum cream, I think that's what it's called. It's like the same packaging, but she got the mini one in her Sephora box a few months ago. Anyway, so I recognize this. This is a very popular, um, primer, not primer, a very popular, like, body butter type of stuff. But I've heard mostly about the Bum Bum Cream, um, it's like a, this packaging, but instead of turquoise, it's like a bright yellowy orange color. Anyway, let me read about this. Sol de Janeiro's Cocoa Cabana Cream instantly transforms dry, dehydrated, irritated skin into its softest, bounciest, most luscious version of itself. Its oil and water gel cream texture kisses the body with a cocoa sugar blend of fermented sugar and nourishing cocoa oil, coconut oil, to draw, draw, hold, 
and have moisture for up to 72 hours. Deliciously fitted with their Chirosa 39 fragrance with mouth-watering notes of coconut, toasted praline, and a warm vanilla latte. And this is a $20 product. Oh! Anyway, I used this yesterday. Yes, yesterday. When I got out of the shower. Whenever I get out of the shower, I really, really dry and kind of itchy. So I always put a body butter on. So I use this instead of my usual body butter. Also, let me show you what it looks like. So this is the little container. And this is the product. So it is white, but as you can see, it looks like it's a water-based product and not a cream. This product because it has a sort of translucentness to it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But it smells so nice. It literally smells like coconut ice cream or coconut cupcake. And you get a pint of it of product in there. You get 2.5 fluid ounces. So I think that's pretty good. Anyway, um, I noticed that it immediately sank right into my skin and didn't feel uh, like thick. You know how a lot of lotions and stuff are like really thick and they take forever and they sort of feel like they're just sitting on top of your skin and it's not comfortable? This felt really lightweight but also very hydrating and it sunk right into my skin. So if you're, if you also like hate that feeling of like lotion sitting on your skin, this sinks right in. And I don't really notice that it made me, it did make me feel pretty soft, but I only applied it once, right when I got out of the shower. But I really love the smell, and it felt really nice, so that is a 4 out of 5, maybe? 5 out of 5? I don't know. <laughs> um, it's just like the body butter, you know. Um, but if you don't like scents, this is a very heavily scented, um, body butter, so after it was on me, I smelled it for a while after, like, really, 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 really strongly through. So, if you're not into really strong scents, I don't recommend this for you. Actually, if you see it at a store, you can smell it and decide it for yourself. Or you can get a little tiny one. Um, just, I wouldn't invest in a large one before knowing how powerful the smell is. Um, if you are sensitive to smells, and also, I'm not sure if it, you can put it on your face. It does say it's a body cream, and it is pretty heavily scented, and I wouldn't want to put it on my face and uh, be broken out from it because of all the scents. But anyway, yeah, that's that. And now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I have two products left, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my matte eye colors because I have a little shimmery surprise for you in a minute. But this, I got this for Valentine's Day. My dad got this for me. I really, really wanted one. This is a Natasha Denona Mini Sunset Palette. Um, Natasha Denona, if you're not familiar, um, had one of the most famous eyeshadows in the entire world. They're like luxury eyeshadows. They're very expensive. She has $239 palettes, like bigger ones. Um, these are little $25 palette, but they are really, really, really small, like, I don't know if you can tell, but they are so small, but I'm so excited to try out this, so I'm not going to be using the shimmers from the palette, I'm going to be using the matte, I'm going to take this shade right here, this is the shade Blaza, I think, yeah, this is the shade Blaza, I'm going to take this on my Royal and Magnifico Crease Smudge Jewel and Knit Brush, and I'm not sure how pigmented these are. I'm sure they're pretty pigmented because... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pigmented. I'm just putting this all within my crease. And I'm blending it out so it's not too intense. This is like a really nice, um, creamy peach color. I love these kinds of shades so much. This is like an everyday matte for me. I would wear this. And then like a champagne uh, lid color and call it a day. This sweater just does not want to stay on my shoulder. Okay, now I'm going to take my Luxie 
121 mini tanker fish and I'm gonna take the shade Dirty Mars. That is an odd chain name. Um, it is this chain right here in the middle. It's like a deep brick brown color. And I have a feeling it's going to be very pigmented. So I'm going to cap off a little bit. And I'm going to put this in the... Oh wow, that is pigmented. <laughs> Whoa. Like you barely need um, any of these eyeshadows. Um, to get a really full pigmentation out of them. Wow. That, um, is really pigmented, really nice. They blended together perfectly. Okay, wow. Now I know why they're so popular. Okay, my next item is the Nude Stick Magnetic Luminous Eye Color. I'm not sure why it's magnetic. That's interesting. Let me show you what it looks like. Looks like this. And it's like a little eye pencil. It says a super long wearing eyeshadow pencil that is soft and easy to blend. The Nude Stick Magnetic Luminous Eye Color is the ultimate multitasker to achieve intense color, precise lighting, and primed eyelids for all day waterproof wear to ensure your nude glam lasts. In a $24 eyeshadow stick, and let's go ahead and put this on the lid. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put it directly on the lid or like, I have no idea. So I'm just going to put it on the lid. Okay, so that is pretty pigmented. Can you see it? I'm just going to take this brush and blend it into the matte shades. I just put it on the inner half of my lid and sort of filled that in um, where there's no eyeshadow at. Okay, that's really pretty. That was like a very, very fast application. It is really pretty. So I really enjoy this. I'll give this a 5 out of 5 as well because I'm not having any problems with it. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I really like this, um, it's only just a really, um, average, um, warm tone eye look, but it looks really pretty though. We have one eyebrow on. Okay, hello. So, I've already finished my makeup, but my video, um, I had the footage, and then I went to save the footage, and it, um, went away again. So, this is the finished one. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have on. So, after I did the, um, thing, the, the eyeshadow, the uh, eyeshadow stick, I, um, did my eyebrows, and then now we're here. I think that's where I left off. So, I, the, the last product is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's a $24 mascara. I'm going to read about it. It says, Indulge in a mascara that actually lives up to its name. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara separates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection. Acacia Cinnamon Tree Extract sets volume of film forming polymers. Lock your lashes in a perfect curl. So, I have this on my lashes. It did a good job of curling and lengthening and all that. So, I gave this a 4 out of 5 probably because I liked it. So it's fine, fine. And that is pretty much all I did, but I had 15 minutes of footage of just the part that got cut off. Um, so, then I put on my Umbrella liquid lipstick in the shade of Miami Fever. I got this last month in a box. Um, so I'm wearing that. 
and that is pretty much all that happened. But yeah, there was this story about the end of the video, it just really disappeared, so, um, that kind of put a damper on things, but that's okay. Um, it happens all the time to me, so, yeah. Um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really enjoyed this box. Comment down below if you had the same exact box for me, um, as me, or if you had a different item or something. And also, if you liked your box or not, and tell me why or why not you, uh, like it or not. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!